In this school spider tutorial, I'm going to show you how to best manage your pages on your website and just generally where things go on your website. If you're a teacher, you're mainly interested in your class pages. So I've got my year six class page here. So this is full of lots of different information. So you can add nice big header images at the top of your class page. You can add pages within your class page also. So these are pages within your page. So information on literacy, numeracy, that sort of thing. Um, information about the teacher. So um, it'll put automatically pull through information about the teacher that they've added to the uh, administration area. And then underneath that, information about the class itself. So we usually say, add stuff that you're doing over the over the term. So let, let parents know what you're up to this, sort, this term. And then the way that we do things differently to other people is beneath this, we have news items, blog items, gallery items, and calendar items. And these are all related to the class. So really, this is your main way of adding information onto your class page. For example, if you've got a lot of different pictures um, that you've taken from, for example, a trip to Chester, you would add a gallery item and then attach that to your class and add all the photos to that so that then people can just click through to the gallery item and see all of the photographs. Now, what this enables you to do is add lots and lots of content. So it's, your class page isn't just one page. It's a, it's a lot of different pages and items all linked together. So you can add loads and loads of different images, and then um, it, there won't be any sort of um, stuff will get lost on the actual page itself. So um, yeah, try and add everything that you can as a news item or a blog item or a gallery item or a calendar item. And then we'll auto-archive stuff as it goes through the year. Um, as you go through the years as well, we'll auto-archive all, all of the information so that if anyone comes into your school, for example, Ofsted, they want to see some sort of evidence of what you've done over the previous years, you can just go back in time, view all of your gallery items or blog items on the website, and it'll have all of your information on there of things that you've done. So your main way of going about adding information to the actual to your class page is by adding these um, these news items and gallery items and calendar items underneath it. Um, other pages along the top. So these are all just standard pages that go along the top. So if you're a teacher, you're more than likely not going to have to manage these. This will be more down to the school administrator to do this. So these are all pages along the top. You can add as many pages as you want. Um, just watch your other video on how to manage your pages. You'll be able to see exactly how to add different pages onto the website. If you scroll down, presumably everyone, every website has um, a block of whole school news, whole school gallery items, and whole school calendar items. And if I scroll up to the top, you've got your whole school blogs, which is up here, and your school tour, which you can add information into there. Um, so yeah, if you try and keep to this, this sort of structure of managing your website, it should all look really, really uniform and really nice and, and work in exactly the way that School Spider works.